Hi everyone and welcome to Mr. Point. I can't speak. I just can't say words. Hi everyone and welcome to this Twin Flame check-in. So we're going to see what comes free for the Divine Masculines, the Divine Feminines and what's going on between you both. So please just take, you know, what resonates. Um, obviously, you know, whilst this is like a Twin Flame reading, don't get hung up on the labels here. If it resonates, then it resonates. Um, so let us see. What is the Divine Masculine current energy? Five of Cups. Seven of Wands. Okay, this is really quite interesting. The Divine Masculines currently are feeling, you know, some kind of regret. Some kind of regret over an action or behaviour where they've tried to protect themselves. The Divine Masculines are currently feeling maybe a little bit remorseful about where they've tried to, you know, deny the connection, put themselves first. They seem to, you know, kind of be feeling a little bit lonely right now. They seem to be missing their Divine Feminine, feeling like they do, they do want to spend time with her. They do want to make sure that that connection is strong. You know, it feels like the Divine Masculines are realising where they have, you know, started to like defend themselves or they push their Divine Feminine away. They've been busy protecting themselves. You know, they've done all this from its place of maybe insecurity. And now they are quite regretful about it. So, let's see anything else that comes through for their current energy. Page of Wands. Okay, so this is good. So the Divine Masculines are currently, whilst they're feeling regretful, they're also thinking, well, how can I have a more playful approach? How can I initiate some kind of communication? How can I maybe spark some exciting plans with my Divine Feminine. The Divine Masculines are just basically realising that they have been too defensive, that they've maybe been too focused on themselves and not considered their Divine Feminine enough. It's like a real acknowledgement. That's what we're getting here. It's like they're really realising what they've been doing and where they've maybe been pushing their Divine Feminine away. So currently they're planning this like more playful approach. They have some good news. They want to share that. They want to just get this um, this spark going again. So we'll see how the divine masculines and the divine feminine, sorry, are now currently um, feeling empress. I love this. Divine feminines are currently really embodying their divine feminine energy. You know, really stepping into their power, really nurturing herself. Um, focusing on her abundance. So the Divine Feminines really do seem to have kind of like stabilised in their power, but we do have the Six of Cups. So the Divine Feminines, no matter how powerful they are right now, are also feeling a little bit nostalgic, you know, thinking about memories with their Divine Masculine and what's happened. There's definitely disappointment on both sides. There's this disappointment, this longing um, for some kind of change within this connection. It feels like both are wanting to bring about some kind of fresh start or new romance. Both wanting to just have this, this momentum. We have the Eight of Cups. Interestingly, Divine Feminines are currently wondering, should I walk away? Should I walk away from this connection? That's kind of like the main, the main message coming through. Divine Feminines, because they're so in their power right now, a feeling, yeah, nostalgic for sure, but also wondering how much more can I give to this connection? I want to walk away. I want to leave it behind. It's not serving me anymore. But whilst the Divine Feminines are thinking about walking away, the Divine Masculines are here thinking, well, I want to come in with a playful approach. I want to initiate this fresh spark between us both. I want to get things going again. I want to have... Um, you know, I want to, I don't know why, it's like they want like a deep conversation here. I want to have an in-depth conversation about our interests. It doesn't feel like the Divine Masters are wanting to talk about the connection, but I'm sure they're wanting to talk about things that they know you two have in common. Just have an exciting conversation, something to break the ice here. So let's see what guidance for Divine Masters are receiving right now. So what guidance are they getting through? Too many. Maybe a lot of guidance. Or maybe it's not clear right now. Let's have a look. 
the tower. It's not clear. Wow. But Divine Masculines are really being just prepared for some kind of unexpected change. There is divine intervention about to go down here. And the divine masculines are like, well, I'm literally just being guided to surrender and to expect the unexpected, to embrace the uncertainty, to embrace this change. Lightning strikes. Lightning strikes on this connection. And the divine masculines are basically being um, told there's nothing you can do about this. Something's going to shift and it's going to shift whether you want it or not. We're going to find out what this shift is, but... Feminines, you're really being guided um, to, you know, focus on your your spiritual development. Focus on what you want to commit to. It feels like Divine Feminines, you are being guided to really see just how strong this spiritual connection is. I know you want to walk away, but I'm also being shown, well, you can't necessarily walk away from your path. You can definitely try to detach from this connection, but if something's kind of your path, it, it's hard to get away from it. It's like you're going to experience this connection anyway, because it's so strong spiritually. But you can for sure detach and focus on yourself and, you know, find that place of balance in a really healthy um, situation. But you, you're also being shown, you know, don't try and walk away from a place of ego or hurt. Don't try to force yourself to move away from it when really it's better just to focus on yourself, you know. Just give yourself that, that investment, that energy, that love. And as you do that, you'll naturally start to detach from this connection but you're not really trying to force this ending here because the guidance is kind of like embrace the connection. Embrace it because a part of you is rejecting it right now. Now Divine Masculines, should we see what this tower is? Let us see what is the tower which is about to go down here. I'm going to use the Divine Connection Journey deck by JJ Butterfly. So what is this tower, this tower moment? I'm shown someone being nipped, so it's like a pinch, and they do that to check you're awake, right? You get you get pinched to to check whether you're awake or not. So it kind of feels like there's going to be this moment where it feels like a nip um, to the divine masculines, where they really just have that sudden like, yeah, shit, I'm awake. So let's see, what is this? What is this tower moment? Heartache, wow. Something's gonna happen here where the Divine Masculines are really gonna feel some kind of pain from the past and it's gonna be very sudden. It, they're not gonna expect this. And I think this week in particular, they're really gonna feel that. They're really gonna feel some kind of pain from their past and they're gonna be looking towards their Divine Feminine for strength. But they might not even want to talk about this, you know? So it's like they might try and do something playful with you and um, start something a little bit exciting because they are hurt right now. We have protection. I am protecting my heart. So the Divine Masculines are basically going to go through this tower moment, which they have to embrace. And they're going to try and protect their heart from it because they're going to be feeling all of this hurt from their past experiences all this hurt from a separation you two are going through. And it is going to be quite overwhelming for them. But they're being guided. Just embrace this. It's like you need to feel this so that you can have this change. It's like all of this needs to be felt so that the Divine Masculines can really eventually open their heart more fully to their Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, you're getting the signs. You're getting the signs, you're getting the messages about your Divine Masculine. You're being sent those signs from Spirit to really confirm this connection, to confirm what's happening next. You might be getting number synchronicities, 111, 555, 888, they're the ones that are being shown. 
30 freeze coming through. So you're getting lots of number signs, 717. Um, to really confirm, yeah, you are on track here. And we have crowded. So the Divine Feminines, you're being guided to think about who is getting in the way here. You might have some people trying to tell you what to do, trying to give you advice here. Because I feel like lots of you, you're getting maybe lots of readings. You may be asking friends for help. But this crowded card is coming through because it's like you're getting too many people involved. Maybe you're asking for too many other of others' opinions um, or their insights into this connection. You're being guided to just trust yourself a bit more because when we seek so many other people's opinions and validations, not only are we starting to block our intuition, but we're also creating a very stressful situation because you're like you're getting so many differing messages but you're struggling to trust what is true what is not you're like do I walk away but I feel this connection I feel this reconciliation coming but you know I don't know like people are telling me to walk away others are telling me to stay you've got to do what's best for you but you can only do that when you stop listening to other people and just listen to the voice of your soul what is your higher self telling you to do what is the guidance that you are receiving from your spirit team Okay, let us see Divine Masculine's kind of energy towards his Divine Feminine, any next moves coming through. He feels congested right now. He feels a little bit blocked up, but I see him trying to release these blocks. Five of Pentacles, yeah, he feels very blocked. He feels left out in the cold, even abandoned right now. He's going through this period of loss. Knight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles. Okay, so the Divine Masculines are basically having this tower moment where they, you know, so basically they already feel regretful, right? They already feel kind of lonely, like they've missed an opportunity with their Divine Feminine. Feeling a lot of regret here, realising where they've been too defensive, where they've been too focused on themselves. So they're having this tower moment, this realisation, this pinching moment, really quite painful, where they start to feel a lot of the hurt that they've experienced in the past. And this is causing them to want to protect their heart. You know, they're really feeling a lot of emotional pain. They feel abandoned, left out in the cold, neglected by their own spirit team. You know, this is a lot of like, I'm being given the blame game. So these divine masculines might be thinking, well, I had the signs and synchronicities too. So why have I been abandoned? Why has this not worked out? So there's a lot of blaming going on here, but Knight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, all of this is pushing them to make this romantic gesture towards their Divine Feminine. This Nine of Pentacles, it's about them realising they don't want to be single or on their own anymore, that they've already achieved so much material success, that they are living quite a luxurious life already. A lot of those old excuses just don't apply anymore. So, he's realising, you know, his energy towards his Divine Feminine is, look, I want to make a romantic gesture. I want us to, to have like a fun time together. It feels like no matter what they're going through, they definitely want to come in with this fun and playful approach. Divine Feminine, let's see what her energy towards her Divine Masculine is. King of Wands, I know you can do this. She's saying, look, I know that you are a confident, strong leader when you're in your power. I trust you. The Divine Feminine is saying here, look, I trust you. I know that you can lead us. I know that you can do this. Death, it's not over. This is transforming. Divine Feminines are basically saying to their Divine Masculine, oh my God, the wheel, basically saying, I know that you can lead us. There is no doubt about that in my mind. I know that you're powerful. I know that we're going through this transformation and rebirth. And that in divine timing, things are going to start moving again. So the divine feminines are not really denying this connection, just a little bit frustrated at the lack of commitment. So that's why she's having this battle between do I stay, do I go? And the truth is, you just focus on yourself. Spirit's saying, look, you commit to yourself, commit to that relationship with yourself, and the rest will start to transform. It's not about moving away from your divine masculine, it's about following your own path moving towards your own happiness and fulfillment. 
and this connection will kind of move with it. It'll transform. Um, and whatever is meant to be will be, right? If something is meant to be in your life, I strongly believe that it will be. So the Divine Feminines are basically currently feeling quite subtly optimistic. Maybe not saying it out loud because she's got all these conflicting opinions, right? There's too many other people in her head for sure for her to really trust that fully. But she's got this deep inner knowing that something is going to change here. There's going to be movement. There's going to be a transformation. She knows that her Divine Masculine is going to lead things when he feels ready. And to be honest, it's looking like he's already feeling that way. He's already feeling like, I want to I wanna spark something here. Okay, my loves, I'm going to leave this here. We're going to go into the extended now. So in the extended, we're going to see all about what you can expect to see over this week um, and anything that's coming through in the future here. So we're going to do, you know, that those future predictions about what is going to happen between you both. So um, definitely the juicy part. So hopefully I will see some of you in the extended. For the extended version, visit www.sacredspace.co.uk. At the top of the page, you can click on the spirit section and then find the video you want. You can also filter extended in the category. Click purchase to buy the video or sign up to be involved here for full access to the Sacred Space site.